Hi, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you magnetic pom-poms. This is a really super easy activity to set up. All you need to have are pom-poms and magnets. I use the round stuff adhesive kind that you can find um, at Walmart in the craft section or in craft stores. They're called button magnets. They're foam magnets and they just peel the paper off and then they stick to whatever you want them to. But they work really well with the pom-poms on here. And you also need to have some kind of a magnetic tray or cookie sheet for the children to work on. There's a couple different activities you can do with the magnetic pom-poms. Um, you could certainly have um, children create any kind of designs they want out of these. They can move, pick the pom-poms up and move them around to where they want to create pictures and stuff. And because these are a little bit harder to pick up than just the pom-pom themselves on the tray, they, um, they have to pinch harder to lift them up. This is an excellent find more skills development activity. One of the other things that we do with these pom-poms is we try to make letters out of them on here. And so we're going to just make the letter A so you can kind of get an example of that. Now children can either slide these around or pick them up on here. So you can make letters with these. Another thing we do is we do pom-pom uh, color sorting on here. We have them all spread out on the tray just like that and then the child would come and sit down and then they would move um, put the groups of pom-poms together by color so over here we'd have purple they find another purple find the other purple until they've got all the purples together and then over here maybe they put the yellow and they go through and for younger children this would take a while to coordinate where they're going to put the separate colors and so you may, may not want to have uh, too many pom-poms on the tray at one time and then once they've done um, where they've combined the colors together, they separated the colors, sort of the colors, they would go through each color and then they would count how many of each color were in each group. So for white, we had one. For yellow, we had four. And then so on. For the red, we had three. Black, we had three. And they would just count that on there. But these are just some um, general ideas of things you can do. You can certainly use your imagination and have fun with magnetic pom-poms. For Magnetic Pop-Poms, I'm Shelley LeVette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.